Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bobby and I love movies. So today we are talking about Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising. Okay, Neighbors, the first one starring Zac Efron, Rose Byrne, and freaking Seth Rogen. I really enjoyed that movie. I thought it was quite fun. A goof, a gaff, a riot, all of them all squished together. Quite a funny movie. I'm a big fan of Seth Rogen movies. I think Seth Rogen is one of the best comedians we have making movies right now. And the first Neighbors, I thought was actually a great movie on top of being super funny. Like that end scene, that was like a really heartbreaking scene and a very sad note to end a summer comedy on. I respected that, like they had balls to give the movie dramatic weight. Holy shit, I sound so congested. Zac Efron was absolutely hilarious in the first one. Dave Franco was great, but by far the best part of the movie was Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne. Holy shit, those two are absolutely hilarious together. I love movies about middle-aged people trying to kind of fit in. It's such an interesting point in human life that I don't think is explored that often other than in kind of shitty comedies. So it was refreshing to see that point of someone's life kind of captured in a very entertaining and absolutely hilarious way. So. When I heard about the second one, I was not excited because obviously I really enjoyed the first one. I heard they're basically doing the exact same movie over again, just with a sorority, which didn't sound that interesting to me. I don't want to see the same movie over again. So I went to the theater a couple days ago and here's what I thought. First of all, the movie is definitely not as good as the first one. That kind of goes without saying with a comedy sequel though. I can't actually think of one that is better. When you find something that's super funny for one movie, it's really hard to recreate that comedy for the second one. Now, I will say, they did a good job at recreating that comedy. Any part of the movie with Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen, or Zac Efron, or Ike Barinholtz, and the actress who played his wife, anything with those characters was really funny. But, once you got into the whole sorority aspect of the movie, that's where the comedy kind of nosedive. Now the acting definitely wasn't bad in this film from pretty much anyone, but the comedy part of it is where it was definitely kind of... Mm. Yeah. So here's the thing. A lot of the comedy in this movie that is surrounding the sorority girls is the kind of comedy you see on like Jon Stewart's show that Noah Trevor took over. Some of the stuff on John Oliver. Basically, after every joke, there's some kind of that's sexist or that's racist or people saying that something is sexist or racist is the joke. Like there's this part in the movie, okay? All the girls in the sorority throw bloody tampons at Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne's house. And some of them go through the window, and I think their baby grabs one of them. And then Zac Efron's character is like, oh, that's funny, where'd you get the fake blood? And they're like, out of our vaginas. And he's like, oh, that's disgusting. And they're like, that's sexist. If it was a bag of dicks, that you'd think it's hilarious. And then Zac Efron's like, huh, you're right, bag of dicks. No, that's not the same thing at all. If you throw a bag of dildos at a house, that is completely different than throwing blood from inside of you at someone's home. That's the kind of jokes that are in this movie. It's very pro-women and everything, which is great. I'm extremely pro-woman, but whenever you sacrifice comedy for feminism, that's basically like what happened if I have this movie is it, a lot of it just isn't funny. A lot of the comedy is just replaced with extreme liberal feminism. Pretty much my only complaint with this movie is that one half of the characters, the older characters, are all really funny. The younger teenage characters are just super unfunny. Like, they, they it's like they, they didn't even try to write jokes for the teenage girls. They just wrote in things like that sexist and then was like, hey, they'll come up with funny stuff while we're on set. I don't know. That's just how I felt while watching it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but that's how I felt when I was watching it. Like I said at the beginning, I thought that the, basically seeing the same movie over with a sorority was a bad idea. Structurally, I actually didn't hate this movie. I thought it was kind of fun. It was really funny seeing basically the exact same movie done over again, but all the parts with Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne, again, fantastic because they have phenomenal chemistry. Rose Byrne is so funny in these movies. I just spit a little bit. That was weird. In Neighbors 2, she's like sloppy and messy and throws up on Seth Rogen and like there's just... 
it feels so real, like a real person. I love that. I love comedy where people feel real. It's great. Real situational comedy is so awesome. And Rose Byrne, I think even a little more than Seth Rogen nails that. Zac Efron is becoming a very talented comedic actor. And I so would never have guessed that. Take my hand. There were two cameos in this film that I thought were really funny. Billy Eichner from Billy on the Street. I absolutely love Billy Eichner. I think he's one of the most underrated, absolutely hilarious comedians working today. And his part, even though it was incredibly short, was so funny and really stood out. And the other person that was great was Kyle Mooney, who literally has like maybe, maybe one minute of screen time in this film. It definitely doesn't have the dramatic chops that the first one did. The kind of dramatic turn at the end is really goofy and dumb. Didn't like that at all. I wish they'd gone for more of a comedy ending, especially because the drama just pretty much doesn't work in this movie, except for the stuff with Zac Efron. The stuff with Zac Efron in this movie is absolutely hilarious and has weight because of the first movie. If you watched the first movie and enjoyed it, go check this movie out. It's pretty funny. I was fairly annoyed for a big chunk of it. My girlfriend and a friend I was with, Elliot, all, we all felt the exact same way about just the, the constant spewing of extreme leftist liberal ideology, which we're all liberals, the, us in the group, we're all very liberal people, but just the constant spew of that instead of comedy just got super old super fast. But other than that, the movie is a really fun time. If you like comedies, if you like seeing Zac Efron mostly naked, if you like seeing Seth Rogen mostly naked, or just you, you want to have a good time in the movies, go check this out. It's, it's pretty decent. Thank you so much for checking this video out, guys. You can hit me up on Twitter at TheBobbyBurns and Instagram at BobbyBurnsOfficial. And the link to my Patreon is down in the description below. I'll see you later, guys. Peace out. I'm a big fan of Seth Rogen movies. <coughs> what the fuck? What is happening? Ugh. Oh my god, I'm dying. Ugh.